Guys, when you need this kind of stuff done, just ask me. That's what I'm here for. Something bothering you, Clark? No, I just think we should start putting safety first. If you haven't noticed, this stuff is pretty dangerous. Yeah, well, this is a farm. It kind of goes along with the territory. Seriously, son, what's going on? When I was at the retirement center, I met this old blind lady. I know this sounds crazy, but she can see the future. What did she tell you? That someone very close to me will die soon. Uh, listen, Clark, you can't let some old lady scare you with a half-baked prediction. I mean, she probably just does it to scare the nurses anyway. She told Pete he'd be walking home. Seconds later, he realized that he'd locked his keys in his car. No one can tell the future. What if she can? What if she told me because there's something I can do about it? Then she should have given you a little more information, like name, time, and place. Yeah, and even if she can't predict the future, there's nothing she can do to control it. Nobody can. Fate's giving you a second chance, Harry boy. And this time, they're gonna pay. Put her up. one of these in years. I mean, not since the bypass. That was a joke. You're a riot. <laughs> what can I get you to drink? Um, <clears throat> How much is coffee from, you know, beans? Two seventy-five. dollars Do they carry it here from South America by foot? You sound like my grandpa. Just make sure it's hot. Yep. It's not your fault, Lana. Do you know anyone else who's lost an entire old person in a wheelchair? Nope. That's pretty impressive, even by Smallville standards. Maybe he was kidnapped. Who'd want to kidnap Harry? He's just a harmless old man. Maybe a koi turned into a piranha and ate him. You asked for my help. I'm just thinking out of the box. I like your theory. You know, you might want to work on your eavesdropping technique. Sorry. I'm, uh, I'm new in town. I just heard this is where young people congregate. Yeah, we congregate here often. Hi, I'm Clark. The rude one's Chloe. And this is... Lana Lang. Name tag was a big clue. So, uh, good luck finding your missing old person. Enjoy your coffee. They brought it in by Burrow this morning. Thanks, honey. You're a doll. You play beautifully. I was supposed to attend the Metropolis Conservatory. Your voice sounds young. The conservatory closed its doors in the 70s. <laughs> I mean, I've always dreamed of attending that. That is, if I lived in a different time. Any chance you could give an old lady a, a hand back to her room? I already know my future. <laughs> 